Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet subscribed, to please do subscribe. So guys, on this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can answer SCL 1541 2024 assignment 1. Yeah? So yeah, please guys, uh, if there is um, any instructions for this assignment, please do read them and understand. And then uh, please do apply or write this thing according to the instructions. Yeah? Please don't miss anything just to avoid any inconvenience. So let's start. Please. Don't forget to subscribe. Question one. Question one says that explain the concept law and thereby show how it is different from other social rules or norms. Ne? So guys, uh, I'm going to be providing you with answers, ne? but please try to paraphrase where it's possible so that it may not look the same. Law is a system of rules governing human conduct. And it is recognized by the state and is also enforced. Ne? Although law is rules, not all rules are law. Because rules may be any guide, guideline or instruction. On the contrary, law is more than a rules and compresses all aspects yeah. and then uh, the other point whilst rules they have sense of control only among members of the community unlikely unlike me to say unlike law rules are not recognized and enforced by the state but only by an organization or institution which has created them ne? then we move to the next question question two question two question two state that uh, State is a non is a non physical entity and abstract notion of phenomenon created by citizens through the deemed agreement. So the first point states that the extract illustrates the idea that citizens do play a role in the preservation of law and order in a democratic state. The basis the basis for this role is the notion of a social contract which all citizens are deemed to sign and agreed or agreed to in order to determine how they will live with one another. Point two, members of society, a common government to which have entrusted the responsibility by social contract to protect them and maintain peace and order. Point three, the rule of law is therefore the basis upon which the social contract is premised. That is for question two. Question two. 2. 2.2. However, we need to examine our environment and ask problematic questions such as whose law? Obvious. It is the law of the dominant class in that society. Which class does the South African law include the constitution self? Explain fully. But three points. Section 7 of the Constitution provides that the Bill of Rights is cornerstone of democracy in South Africa. It enriches the right, the right to all people in our country and affirms the democratic values of human dignity, equality and freedom. The belief that people should be treated equally under the law is one of the cornerstone of our Constitution. Yet not all citizens have been treated equally through the nation's history, and some are treated differently even today. Okay? So let's start with the points. That one was just only to highlight. First point. 
The law serves the interest of the powerful political elite at uh, present and post-1994. It is influenced by the ideology of non-racialism. Then the other point, the constitution is crafted in such terms that uphold the freedom charter view. For an example, the words we, the people of South Africa, such wording shows that law is not value free or neutral but is influenced by the interest of those in power. Then we move to the next point. Question 3. 3.1. Read the Lepani village story on page 10 of your study guide and use it as an anchor for your explanation of the notion of praxis. This one is a Latin word. I cannot pronounce it very well. So it goes as follows. In terms of the extract, Mr. Kiva's approach does not amount to parix. This is so because he was mainly concerned with getting the driver's license without ensuring that he also develops the necessary skill to enable him to drive. Parix is permissed I'm just a premise on reflection and action. The extract confirms that it is not enough to get the driver's license, but rather what is important is for one to be able to use that license effectively when the situation demands. It was this it was difficult for Mr. Giva to move the truck because he was not patient to develop his driving skills properly at the driving school. Therefore, Kiva failed to blend knowledge and the relevant skills since he could not be properly tested at the licensing department. That is for 3.1. Three point two. Refer to Halma Madlantes' remark. See learning unit two in your study guide. Uh, then you do the activity. Yeah. So guys, uh, I don't have those questions, but they're there in the study guide. Ne? Please just go to unit two and check two point two. But for three point three point two point one, goes as follows. In the text, Mundante makes a spectacularly good case for reflection as a great characteristic or attribute for the human species. Essentially, according to Motlante, anyone who has his or her sense of reflection in, in a suspended mode is no different from an animal or an object, for that matter. He emphasized the point that the minute one stops reflecting, one is a good as dead. It is in this sense that the, his value, that he values the ability to think or reflect as a very precious thing that sets a human being apart from animal and non-human object or thing. Okay. So for 3.2.2, which means it's number two and that one, it will state that the concept subjective being refer, refers to the idea that learners are complete human being with a mind of their own values and experiences. Their brain are thus not empty vessels. In other words, as subjects rather than objects, learners may question information and relate that information 
to their lived experience. Khalema Motlante emphasized this point by stating that questioning critical thinking and reflection from subjective becoming because without critique or reflection human being lose their sense of personhood and drift towards being non-human. 3.2.3 which is number 3. Khalima Mudlante emphasizes that learners must be active participant in the learning process. In other ways, as a subject, subject rather than object, learners may question information and relate that information to their lived experience. He emphasized this point by stating that questioning critical thinking and self-reflection from objective becoming because without critical reflection human being loses their sense of personhood and drift towards <coughs> being non-human. It's more like they say. But uh, it is what it is, guys. So let's move to the next question. Question 4. Read the text A and text B. See activity 4.5 on uh, page 99 of your study guide and critique the notion of argumentum et hominem so guys i'm not good when it comes to latin word ne? so yeah 4.1 the form of irreverence is argument applicable um, is the argumentum at hominem this refer to an aspect of irreverence in argumentation which comes about when criticism is based on the person or arguer rather than the argument the words i quote or open quote your argument is totally unacceptable because you are still young from a rural province and have never been to america close the quote indicates or reflect a personal attack on the arguer that is 4.1. 4.2. With reference to Attorney's Act 5, I'm to say Act 53 of 1979 and the Legal Practice Act 2, I'm to say 28 of 2014, determine whether a legal practitioner can be both an attorney and an advocate and uh, this one is to tell you no <clears throat> but let's go with it so in terms of the act a person cannot practice both as an attorney and advocate at the same time yeah? so it starts as follows the introduction of the law legal practice act repeals legislation which was traditionally separated for separate for I mean to say separate for attorneys and advocates namely the attorneys act and the admission of advocates act and uh, that the proposed communality wipes out the distinction between attorneys and advocates Second point, legal practitioners who wishes to work directly with clients or members of the public will need a fiducial, uh, fidelity fund certificate, where else those who work on referrals or briefs may appear in the high court without any need for the fidelity fund certificates. Third point, all legal practitioners will be regulated under a single independent body referred to as the council. Thank you for watching my video. And then if you have any question, guys, please do ask.
do start early also so that you may be able to ask questions i got because of on the last day guys most of you guys will be asking me questions at the same time and then i i might reach out to you very late you know so to avoid any inconvenience please start early now and then um action sa unisa action sa asked me to to to, to promote them ne? so guys please in the description of this video ne, just to show gratitude you're going to see a link in it press that link is going to take you to this form you sign it online in it it's just only to give them power to represent you in anything it could be data issues registration issues and issues or whatever issue so please sign that thing and uh, fill it correctly and especially when it comes to that part of regions and stuff like that so that they can understand which region is close to you or which region you belong to ne? so yeah all the best guys and then for part two question the last question the last question is going to be long because of that's why i'm separating it with with this thing it is going to be long but i um, will try to make it short ne? so it will be on this video i will put it on the description in it so that uh, we may understand each other so i'll be dealing with this thing of questions